Beth and welcome to 50 Plus Beauty. You're in my bathroom and it is in the morning and I'm about to take my shower so I wanted to share with you my shower beauty routine and it's mostly body skin care. Up until I was in my mid 50s or so I never really had a beauty routine. In fact I thought the term beauty routine was kind of like 1950s but since I've gotten in my 50s I realized that if you don't give yourself little beauty habits you don't tend to do them. The things just really don't get done. And so I thought about the things in my life that I have to do every day and how I can incorporate certain things into those little habits that I have to do every day to kind of supersize them and get a lot of bang for my buck over time because I would be forming good habits. Well, and one of those areas is the shower in the morning because everybody takes a shower and it's like 10, you know, 10 minutes a day or whatever that you're working you know, on getting clean and whatever. So I decided to create a little beauty habit around the shower. The first thing um, doesn't really have to do with the shower, but I tacked it onto the shower routine so I remember to do that. And it is this big boy, the scale. And you know, I hated this thing for many, many years and I had it in my closet and I hardly ever went in there. And you know, it could be you know several weeks before I'd step on it. And sometimes I'd get a really bad surprise because if you don't look at it every day, you can gain five, seven pounds and that's kind of a hard thing to lose at that point. But if you look at it every day, what I found is that I, I get on the scale in the morning and my weight that I like to be is like 120. But if I get up to like 122, then I realize for that day, no chicken nachos, I've got to calm down on the food. Now, if I get on the scale and I'm 118, I think, party! You know, and I can have those chicken nachos, which is a wonderful thing. Um, and you know, I don't really like to get any lower than 120 because I start to look a little skeletal, which believe me is not a problem I had in my life. I used to have major weight issues and I'm in the second half, I've learned some wonderful ways to control my weight where it's really not even an issue. And in fact, down the road, I'm going to do a video about that. So please subscribe, click the little button down there. Um, if you'd like to be, you know, emailed once, um, you know, we have new videos. So you'd see that one. Okay. Now let's get into the shower beauty routine. Okay. Basically, in the shower, you know, you've got some time where your mouth is doing nothing. So I figure, why not make your teeth white? So what I do in the shower is I do this little five minute, right now I've been doing this little uh, five minute um, rapid wipe thing that I got at the Dollar Tree store. It's only a dollar, but basically you just put the gel in this little tray, stick it in your mouth, and I leave it there the whole shower and come out. And on the days when I need teeth whitening, I do this, you know, or do it a few mornings in a row but you don't want to overdo because you don't want blue teeth. And then I get in the shower, but I don't turn on the water. What I do is body brushing. And it's this little brush. And this one used to have, it was a back brush, so it used to have a, a, a wood piece in it for the back brush, but you can buy it just as the brush itself. And it's really, really coarse. It's made out of something natural. But anyway, what you do is you brush your body skin. Every little bit of it, from your hands on up, all the way up, you do your, your hands, your arms, your torso, your back, you do your feet, don't forget your feet, and you do your legs, and basically every brush should go in the direction of your heart. For some reason, I think that helps your circulation, I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this, and it's dry brushing, so you do it before you turn on that water, um, and it'll take you a few days to develop this habit, but after you develop the habit, you're gonna miss this if you don't do it, because I really think there's an energy that we get that gets stagnant around our body, but this kind of feels like it not only exfoliates your skin and gets rid of those dead skin cells, but I think it gives you a perk in, in terms of your energy. So I really like this body brushing. Okay, now you turn on the water, and the next part actually is kind of a mental thing. I call my showers shower of gratitude, that <laughs> I'm gonna have a shower of gratitude. And I used to, the whole time I was in the shower, try to think of a list of things that I was grateful for and feel gratitude. Well, that was a little too intense. I always start out too much and I back off. But now I do three things that make me grateful for that day. And I think about them and I try to really, as the water's coming down, I really, really try to feel that gratitude. Because when we feel gratitude, it, it marks the way for more good to flow into our lives. It just starts the, the chain of good in our lives. So take your shower of gratitude. And the next thing I do is I used to use just like Dove soap in the shower or some kind of soap, but I started realizing that, you know, life is short and we got to, you know, take care of our bodies and, and take care of our senses too. And, and so I started to realize I needed to do enjoyable things for myself. So I went to Bath and Body Works and I got this white citrus, um, I want to call it uh, soft soap, but it isn't. It is shower gel. And I, I really like the minty, 
scents or the lemony scents, but I got this for myself and I got my husband one that smells like I would like a man to smell. He doesn't seem to say he notices one way or the other, but he uses it too in the shower and I really like that on him. So that's a pleasurable thing for me. But I don't just put it on with a washcloth. I use these what I call scruffily gloves. And basically you put them on and you can buy these anywhere at Walmart or Target or a health food store, probably more expensive in a health food store. But you just put these on both of your hands and then you, you know, put your uh, shower gel in your scruffly gloves. And then you just scruffle all over your body. And it feels so good. And this is just like the dry brushing. You will start to miss this if you don't do this. But over time, it really wears off the old wrinkly, ugly skin that you have and kind of lets the, the new, fresher skin cell show. So I really like this. Now, the next thing I do is I, you know, I'm done with my shower and I lightly towel off in the shower. And in the shower, I have this retinol cream and it's Nature Well. And I got this from Beauty by Anne Marie. She really recommended this highly, so highly that I just had to have it and I probably pay too much for it. But it's a little difficult to find. Sometimes you can find it at Sam's for only like 12 or $13 for this huge, for this huge bin of it. But I could not find it at Sam's. It wasn't there when I was there. So I uh, looked, looked for it on Amazon and I think I paid $19 a piece for these things. And I got two of them because why not buy more? <laughs> That's always my, uh, my motto, which is not necessarily good. But anyway, so you put this all over your body. And the thing I like about this, it doesn't feel greasy or oily. I used to not like to use you know, lotions on my body because largely it felt like it was an oil slick and it was hard to put clothes on over all that grease. So, but this just soaks into your skin very quickly and by the time you've got your makeup on or ready to get dressed, you won't even feel this stuff. But it is retinol and as a matter of fact, it's such good cream that I also put it up on my face and my neck in the shower too. I love this stuff. Now, the very last thing I do really isn't in the shower, but it has to do, it's kind of shower related though because when you're in the shower, your calluses on your feet are getting softer, so it's the perfect time to do a little bit of exfoliating of your calluses. And many of you probably have heard of Ped Egg, which I love Ped Egg. I've tried other things, even like gizmos that have battery, you know, have batteries. But I always come back to the Ped Egg. And the thing is, it used to stay in my cabinet, and it did me no good in the cabinet. And I would only pull it out when I would have like a major event to go to in the evening, and I had to wear sandals, and I would look at my feet and go, ah! Like lobsters they look terrible and I would get this thing off and spend you know 20 minutes trying to deal with something that I should have been dealing with on a daily basis so what I do now is I take this little pet egg and I put it in my little potty room that's in my bathroom and I set it on the back of the potty so I'm always seeing it and remembering that I'm gonna have to do this but after the shower I go into the little potty room and I lift up the seat of the potty and I put my foot up there on the the potty rim and then I just um, you know take it out of its little cover and then I just use it all over all the calloused areas on my feet and my toes. And then once you're done, you get a little surprise because you open this thing up and in it, and I won't gross you out by showing you my calluses, but are little pieces of the calluses that have come off your feet. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Some days when you get more than others, it's kind of like a little game. But anyway, so you do that every day. Um, and when you do that every day, you never really get to the lobster foot stage and everything is just really nice and on an ongoing basis, this little habit makes a big difference in your feet. Okay. That is my shower beauty routine. You know, the whole thing takes maybe 10 minutes, you know, right along with your shower. It's super easy. Um, I hope you will try it out or a variation of. If you have any ideas on anything else to add or anything like that, I would love to hear that. Well, basically, I hope that you feel great about yourself today that you count your blessings, that you look at all the people around you and think, what can I do for you today? And most of all, I hope you love yourself. Have a wonderful day.